My name is Timothy Francis Crowley IV. My name is Stephanie Torres and I'm in the Customer Service and Culinary Training Program. My name is Sarita White. My name is Allison Perry. I'm the Catering Sales Manager at The Kitchen. I am Carla Domingo. I am the Workforce Development and Employer Navigator. My name is Carlos Espinosa. I'm the Director of Community Relations at Trinity College and I am a board member here at Forge City Works. Hi, my name is Ray Smithberger and I'm the co-chair of the board at Forge City Works. Now, I first wanted to start by saying thank you. Thank you for sharing in this virtual meal and in this event with us, but most importantly, thank you for helping carry on the mission of this great organization with your support. Now, at Forge City Works, we provide job training, food access, and create sustainable social enterprises to help people change their lives. And we do that all through the power of food. And we're committed to using food as an educational and community building tool. Well, what brought me to this uh, facility was um, I was homeless on the street and um, I'm an alcoholic and uh, I was drinking and believe it or not, I was living in a porta potty. And um, after a few days of uh, drinking 24 hours a day, um, I got kind of hungry and I found this restaurant and I went inside and asked for something to eat and um, they were gracious enough to make me a sandwich. And I was sitting out front having the sandwich and um, I didn't know her name at the time, but Carrie Wheaton had approached me and asked me how I was doing and uh, handed me a business card and, and told me that uh, when I got my act together to give her a call. So from there, I went into detox and um, got sober and got off the street and got myself into a program called Sober Solutions. And um, I gave Carrie a call, sent her an email, and um, about two and a half, three months later, she offered me a job as a dishwasher, told me to come in and talk with the chefs, and uh, here I am today. And it's, it's been an amazing uh, transformation. Ford City Works is really an amazing organization that is creating opportunities for opportunity youth, those are young people between 18 and 25, and for folks who have had challenges in their lives to transition into work by uh, learning culinary skills and other kinds of skills, customer service skills that they can put into action uh, immediately for employment opportunities to better their lives. Forge City Works has adult programs that are for back-of-the-house culinary skills. Um, there they learn um, food preparation, knife skills. Um, they also learn uh, sanitation, which is important. Um, while they're time with us, they take their surf safe examination, which qualifies them as a food handler, uh, which a lot of employers look for when um, you're looking uh, for a job in the culinary field. Um, we also help them with supports for um, employment. We have a lot of networks out here in the Hartford area with restaurants, so we're able to guide them to the jobs that they'll be able to succeed in the culinary field. Well, at the time, I was uh, like a mother transitioning. I was a stay-at-home mom for many years, and I always wanted to learn how to cook. I'd love to open my, cafe, my own cafe, you know, eventually. So, you know, it seemed like the perfect opportunity. I was just, you know, home. I looked, you know, I have a college education, but I wasn't working at the time. So I was like, oh, this is great. I love the kitchen in general. So I, before that, I used to go to the farmer's market all the time. And, you know, I used to always purchase like, cookies and I was just like a groupie. And then one day I just walked by the kitchen and someone offered like my kids some applesauce or something. And, I didn't know that it was open all the time, so then, you know, once I knew that, I was there all the time. And I always professed my love every time I went there, you know, and then the ladies that were there, they were like, oh, well, you should, you know, join this, uh, we have this program. And I was like, really? They're like, yeah, you can work here. I'm like, oh, I get all the recipes, I can do all that, you know, so I signed up and, you know, it was great. Um, my daughter's two years old. Her name's Athena. Um, I'm trying to get her back because, you know, I miss her and I'm working so hard to try to make my goal come true. My name is Kevin Badone and I work under Forge City Works, either their delivery driver and their farmer's market master.
We have a farmer's market that we run from June to October in our lawn here at Billings Forge. What makes our market different than others is we had enough money donated to us to triple snaps slash EBT, which is essentially food stamps that people, at least a lot of people in this area um, rely on. So for example, if they only have $10 worth of food stamps, we triple that to up to $30. That way they can have extra money to buy produce and any other source of food for themselves and their families. Just because during these hard times, especially COVID-19, people rely on help. At Forge City Works, we raise 50% of our budget through kitchen cafe sales and catering to support our mission and programs. To me, Forge City Works in one word is inspiring. Hope. Transformative. One thing I'm proud of is basically helping the local community. You grow so much memories working here and doing this program, and it just makes you remember that if you can do it here, you can do it anywhere. Now the work done at Forge City Works stands out in our community because of the unique approach that they take to meet people where they are, to provide them with important job skills training and access to food to help them improve their lives. Now there's a lot changing in our world and Forge City Works is changing too. You know, two years ago, this event was held under a tent. Uh, last year, it was spread out at our Broad Street location so that people could interact with more of the organization. And this year, well, obviously we're virtual. But it's not just a, this event that's changing. You know, Forge City Works continues to evolve its job training and social enterprise program to meet the changing environmental and social needs of the community. Now, I'm very, very proud of the work that the staff has done over the past several months to continue the mission of the organization during this very challenging time. And I would be remiss to say, if I didn't say that, there's a lot more that needs to be done. And this work couldn't happen without your support. So again, thank you for being with us tonight. And as you consider opportunities to make a difference with your financial contributions, I couldn't think of a better place than Forge City Works. Take care and have a great evening.